You're watching DIY Nate. If this is your first time here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to my weekly content. Today on DIY Nate, we're talking about one of the uh, cool productivity items that I've got for you. If you have a workshop or you have a place where you really struggle to find a plug that gives you good access, we all know about extension cords. And this is a little bit of a product review. I've got a plug uh, extension cord on a reel that I love. It's called the Master Plug. That being said, it's not so much about the product, it's about what the efficiency of this type of uh, setup can give you. You know, a plug on an extension reel gives you access to plugs wherever you need them. So we're here in my workshop right now. I have one of these master plugs uh, set up right here uh, on my back wall. It's uh, I got a bunch of stuff hanging from it. And all I have to do when I'm ready to power it up is just flip the switch. And now this has got a plug right now for my shop vac. It's also got a plug for my uh, miter saw. And I've got two other outlets I can use. I've also put it on a hook here so that I can take it off very easily and move this around in my workshop and I can roll it out and pull it back. And so but pretty much I just leave it stationary because this is the place in my workshop where I need to plug the most. Um, that being said, if I had another project that I needed to do elsewhere, uh, I can definitely take it around the workshop. So the master plug is a great, uh, a great little uh, uh, setup here. Um, it gives you access to your plugs. Um, and I'll give you a look around my workshop in a second here. But you can kind of see how I've got stuff hooked to it. And this side of my workshop where I've got my tools and everything doesn't have a plug. I've got a plug on this side of my workshop and I've got one over here. But unfortunately, those are not the places I really uh, need access. And it also makes me have to lean over and reach uh, really, you know, uh, to get to some awkward places where I'm a lot more um, likely to be able to access it, plug in my power tools and that sort of thing. I'm gonna show you a couple other places in my house where I use this. Garage is a really big one. I've got one plug that, uh, that I have and it, you know, it's tucked back there in the back and I'm using it for the refrigerator. And so, um, you know, I only have one outlet so I hook my master plug into the other outlet and it run it throughout the entire garage. And that becomes really helpful when I need to vacuum out my cars. I can pull it out to the driveway. I'll show you that in a minute. And then also on my porch. Uh, my porch also just has one, one outlet set um, where in many cases I'm sitting on the other side of the porch. I need to plug in my laptop. I like working on my porch with the fans going, uh, you know, checking out the nice view and all that stuff. So I'll show you those uh, setups and um, hopefully you enjoy this. If you find it helpful, uh, I'd love to hear your comments because um, I, you may have a different solution you use, some type of extension cord, but for me, the extension cord with the extra four prongs is, is huge. All right, so talking about the master plug here, in my garage and several other places I'll show you throughout my house, there are a couple places where every time you, you need a plug and an outlet and you don't have one. So this solution, um, less than, call it 30 bucks, um, and I'm not promoting specifically this master plug. I do like this product, it's been great for me. You can find it in the description below on Amazon. There are other types of uh, extension cord reels. Feel free to use your own judgment, but I've really enjoyed this one. I'm the type of person, if I buy one and I love it, and this one, I found a use for three of them, and then I bought one for my dad. So um, this, uh, this product is great though. Uh, what it does, uh, you've got an extension cord that you can roll out, and you've got a switch here on it, you can see. Once you get here, um, you can turn it on, power it on. And so um, a lot of times I use this on my poor man's toolbox right here, uh, a dresser that's uh, converted into a toolbox for me. Uh, I basically keep my master plug hung on the side here uh, and I roll it up and I pull this out whenever I need to vacuum the car or all the other garage projects where I can't get to the one outlet that's hiding way back there. So this gives me four extra outlets that are completely portable for my garage and even in, into my driveway. So love that feature about it. I have my Ryobi tool charger here as well. Um, you know, I'll plug this in when I need it and then I will pop my batteries in right there and uh, you know, turn the power on. And so that's another great way uh, that you can use your master plug. And so for me, that's a, that's a great way. I'm gonna show you a couple other areas I use it on my porch and I also use it um, in my basement. And in case you're wondering, this is the poor man's toolbox. I've got a, uh, a master plug hooked on the side there with the four uh, outlets that can uh, extend out. Got some uh, some stuff on top here. I've got a hanging hat rack uh, that I've hooked on it just to store my sweaty hats. And then I also have my vise hooked on the back, some pegboard and uh, my Ryobi tool hanger there on the back. So I've got a lot done with this uh, old dresser that we weren't using for anything. So uh, something I really enjoy in my, in my garage. Uh, it gives me all the tools I need and an easy, easy view and kind of disguises it from the outside public to look like just a dresser in my garage. Um, you're gonna see the master plug in action and you can see how easily 
You just hold it and it's unraveling, unraveling, unraveling. Take it out as far as you need to go. And it works really nice here. So you can see just how quickly uh, you can have four plugs at your disposal, ready to go. Help you out wherever you are in the house, plenty of room to go. You, uh, this one, this version I bought does not have the uh, included extension cord, but most of us have an extension cord lying around or you can find one at a Home Depot or an Amazon for about 10 bucks, uh, depending on size. Um, and you can certainly go heavier gauge and all that good stuff. But um, you get the idea of how this works and uh, it's pretty awesome. All right, here you can see me using my master plug. Um, I've got the little power switch right there and I'm actually charging my iPad. I uh, noticed my kids used up my iPad, uh, got it all the way to 5% battery. So today uh, I'm trying to take a real estate class and I've got, uh, I had to just take this out on the, the porch to charge it so I could keep moving on it. So you can kind of see it's got the four outlets there and uh, it's doing its job. I've got it running all the way over to a uh, plug and uh, the only two outlets on the entire porch. So uh, this is great. I'll bring my laptop out here sometimes onto the porch to do my work uh, just when my battery's running low. Uh, it's great for powering up a radio or whatever else as well. So big fan of the master plug. Thanks very much for watching this DIY Nate video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, and uh, I would love it if you'd subscribe and hit the notification bell. Additionally, if you're interested in Master Plug, check out the link in the description. You can actually purchase your own, or you can find other products on Amazon that you might find helpful. Thanks again for watching.